A science teacher in the Georgetown County School District is asking you to help support her multiple classrooms by giving students insight and experience into sustainable agriculture and reduction of food insecurity. Now to do that, she needs some specific equipment. Our own Michael Higdon explains how you can help by becoming a classroom champion for these students. Let it grow, let it grow. Elizabeth McCarty teaches earth science and environmental science to 9th through 12th graders at Waccamaw High School in Georgetown County. She's hoping to teach her students about learning to solve food insecurity and sustainable agriculture on a smaller scale, but she needs your help to do that. We're hoping to get funded a hydroponic system, um, and it's nice because it's one of the larger ones. It's a little bigger than your at-home one. It's about five feet tallish. Um, and we're hoping to learn how to do plant growing and monitor nutrients for sustainable farming. Traditional agricultural methods use a large amount of water and take up quite a bit of space. This system will help Ms. McCarty show her students on a small scale how agricultural techniques can be modified to be more sustainable and efficient, as well as to solve issues relating to food insecurities, which are only predicted to increase in the coming decades. 2050 is a pivotal year for food shortages and all considering global population. So it gives us a chance to try to figure out how we can help with that on a small scale and hopefully inspire them to help with that on a larger scale. McCarty says both AP environmental science and earth science curriculums delve into the challenges of feeding a growing population as well as more sustainable methods of farming and growing food. The curricula also call for innovative solutions to these problems. It kind of looks like a PVC tower and it has a water basin in the bottom and there you can pre-mix nutrients and all that it comes with instructions and how to monitor the nutrient levels for the plants that you're growing. Um, any plant that doesn't have like a deep rooted plant, so um, potatoes and things like that are out, but lettuce, peppers, um, tomatoes and things like that are all things that can be grown with this system and it uses water nutrients rather than soil. McCarty says it's great to get the students inspired to be like real scientists and do these hands on activities. Any donations are, are welcome and we're grateful for them and thank you in advance to anybody who decides to help us out and support us. Now here's your chance to become a Live 5 classroom champion. All donations are tax deductible and the Donors Choose organization collects the money, purchases those items and then sends them directly to the teacher. That way you know your donation is used appropriately. This project expires next week on October 1st. If you would like to help, just look for this story on Live 5 News.com. For Classroom Champions, I'm Michael Higdon.